All right, so my name is Jason Morley, and I'm the branch secretary uh, of the University of London yeah. branch of the IWGB um, and vice president of the IWGB. We've been campaigning, or the Three Coasts campaign, since September of 2012. So this is, you know, at the time it was about a year and three months of campaigning, a year and two months of campaigning. That's a lot of campaigning, it's a lot of pressure. Uh, there have been videos, there have been a bunch of protests, there have been strikes. Um, so a lot, a lot of time and resources and energy went into that campaign. <laughs> forward with a two-day strike. Outsourced workers uh, went on strike at the University of London for two days, 27th and 28th of November. Um, on the evening of 28th of November, someone from the Times Higher Education, reporter from Times Higher Education, called me and asked uh, if he could get a quote from someone at the IWGB on the university's offer. And we hadn't seen anything. No one had told us about any offer, uh, neither I nor the workers. So I said, well, can you send me whatever document you have? So he sent it over, uh, and it turns out that all outsourced workers at Coefley, the University of London, would now um, have enhanced sick pay and enhanced holidays and access to a pension scheme. These terms and conditions are virtually unheard of for outsourced uh, cleaners and porters in London. I haven't met any of that have these. Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge breakdown. Yeah, the student support has been huge for this campaign. So it's come in, in a bunch of different forms. So a lot of people in the protests are students. Uh, a lot of the energy behind the campaign uh, has been put in there by, by students who don't want their university to be exploiting uh, people. Um, for the strikes, uh, we raised a lot of money uh, through online donations, and the fundraising effort was pretty much entirely run by students. So yeah, I mean, you can't over-exaggerate the, the role of students in this campaign. <laughs>